Hey everyone, it's me QP83 and Barbie0913 and we it was a sad moment for the last time in our lives we went to Shirley's dollhouse that we can physically walk through those doors yes it, it's it's bittersweet it is the way of the doll collecting business now everybody does online business um, there's not as much foot traffic into a normal you know like a doll store mortar store yeah you know. Uh, especially a doll shop. Shirley's Doll House was around for uh, nearly 40 years or over 40. I think it's over 40 years. I went there when I was young. She was first retailer that ever let me do layaway. Um, and um, you know, a funny thing, I was I was still in my teens, my upper teens. But every year, Shirley would talk to me and then and introduce me to somebody, and then she'd say, you know, she would come in here when she was only 14, <laughs> or the next year it would be she would only come in here when she was 13. <laughs> then it was suddenly I was 12. But I always thought it was funny because um, she always remembered who I was and that she gave me layaways and she'd give me cheaper layaways than normally everybody else got. Yeah, and I grew up going to Shirley's, so it has always been a thing, like a place that existed. And so right now, this weekend is the last weekend that Shirley's is open for business. Um, there's one more day left, August 12th from 9 to 4. It's 971 Milwaukee Avenue, Wheeling, Illinois. Um, their phone number is 847-537-1632. They will keep that number in case somebody wants to sell a collection or has is looking for something. Right. They're also selling glass cases. Mm -hmm. So I don't see those cases. I don't, you know, I, I don't see them leaving out the door tomorrow. Uh, and I, I'm not sure how long they have the building till before they have to get everything out. Right. So if you're interested in a case or you have a collector that needs a case, um, call them up. 847-537-1632 yeah. and see if they still have some cases left. When we went in, there were cases. Yeah, and they're not going away completely. Uh, Shirley's daughter is uh, kind of taking the reins and moving it to the internet. So eBay, the phone number will still exist. So if there's something you're looking for, you're selling. Ruby you Lane. That number. Ruby, Ruby Lane, Lane. I, they're on. So they will still exist in one form. They just won't, unfortunately, have that brick and mortar store that you can walk through and actually see things in person. Right, and they do have a Facebook page that's under Shirley's Dollhouse, so I'm hoping that they will continue to keep that page and let us know if they're going to a fair somewhere mm -hmm. and bringing some dolls with them. Because, yeah. it, okay, eBay, yeah, it's easy going on eBay and, and bidding on things and putting things on your watch list, but you still don't see that doll in person and it's really, it really matters to see a doll in person. So for the last purchases, of course I needed some dolls to say that these are my last Shirley's dolls of the brick and mortar store. Shirley's Doll House was created by Shirley Bertrand. She was the manager of it, she, the owner of it, the loving owner of it, knew everything about dolls, was in every kind of club, did a book, our John Wright dolls. Um, yeah. You know, she's a very special person and I thought it fitting that if I'm going to Shirley's for the last time, I need to buy some Shirley's. <laughs> So she did. <laughs> she picked up some Shirley. And if and if you went to my YouTube page and saw that I did do a mini collection on Shirley Temples, now you see that I added two more to it. <laughs> the day after the video. I did. <laughs> and then a Tin Man to go with my Wizard of Oz collection. Yeah, and I ended up picking up the poor Cinderella from what is this the like eighties release? Probably. Release, I think she's an 80s release. 80s release. She's not the 60s release. So I usually I kind of ignore the men on Sanders that do. are vinyl-y that are, you know, like this. But I th think Poor Cinderella is one of the cutest that I've seen. So she I is. definitely picked up Poor Cinderella. There's a Scarlet because I have a thing with Gone with the Wind. And this was just a really pretty Scarlet. And she left 
Rhett there. I did, I'm sorry. But she I, left him. I didn't want to spend that much. Um, the prices, uh, things were 60% off, things were 50% off in store and then outside under the tents. Uh, we're like 60%, 75%. So um, if you are an area person, stop by tomorrow, last yes. day to see them on their lawn mm -hmm. and uh, buy store. something. I also picked up some paper dolls that were just there. They were cheap. And then some of these uh, cute little, I love the, like, the big eyed prints from the 70s. I just, they're the 60s, 70s. They're just so cute. And I do have two of them that look like this that I got for Christmas with these same characters. So these will go with that. They are. And she actually bought Super them all cute. by herself. And it wasn't a gift from me. Right. <laughs> so that was what we picked up on our last shopping trip at Shirley's Dollhouse at the brick and mortar store. Uh, so like we said, it's bittersweet. Like the industry is, I mean, you guys always say, I don't have a doll store. I don't have a doll store. And that's unfortunately what we'll probably be saying in the, the next 10, 15 right. years because they're just not getting the foot traffic. So, you know, if you do see one, go in there, pick something up. I don't care if it's five bucks or 10 bucks. Just right. pick give something, something up. To do give in them their some register. business. Give yeah. them that, like, that door click, that door count. Yeah. Because that's how they'll stay open. Uh, we wish them all the best of luck. Um, and we hope that they do get maybe a smaller uh, storefront that they could still sell out of. But if, yep. in case it doesn't, you know, we still have Ruby Lane and eBay and Facebook. Yep. So definitely check out all the links in the description area. That's how you will find Shirley's Dollhouse. And um, if you are in the area, in the Wheeling area, uh, definitely check it out tomorrow. Give them a good little send off and maybe you'll see something that you want to uh, take home with you. So until then, uh, I guess let us know what you think and we will talk, we'll to, talk you to you soon. Bye.